the political bargain should have been followed by a similar negotiation on opening up the economy. It should also have tackled the biases in the places where ideas and knowledge are produced, schools and universities, for example, and those in the wider society where inherited privilege in access to healthcare, transport and other essentials have limited the effects of the political changes Mandela and others achieved. This was a missed opportunity because the years leading up to the settlement which produced the 1994 democratic government saw parallel negotiation on the economy, social issues and education and culture. This could have set the stage for a bargain on change in these areas but the opportunity was ignored. This has produced the bitterness that sees Mandela as a problem, not a solution. This flaw needs urgent attention. Unless it is addressed, South Africa will remain what it is today, angry and fractured, still trapped in many of the chains which apartheid created. Mandela and those who worked with him hoped for more, a society in which the old barriers would break down, not one in which they remain, although on new foundations. What they hoped for has not been achieved partly because they failed to find a strategy for addressing the ills apartheid created. Building a new society but the new society for which they hoped will not be created unless the values which they championed at the time are revived. The message that South Africans share a common humanity is not a sham. It is essential in a society which remains deeply divided. It does not mean ignoring inequalities, it makes it essential that they are tackled, but in a way which recognizes what people hold in common. The spirit of self-sacrifice and service which prompted Mandela and others to fight apartheid and seek to build a new society is equally essential in a country in which how much you own is valued more than how much you contribute, one of the many causes of corruption which continues to scar the country. The deal over which Mandela presided was not enough to build a workable future. But the values he and those with whom he worked endorsed will need to play a core role if that future is to become reality. Stephen Friedman, professor of political studies, University of Johannesburg, this article was first published in The Conversation.